back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing it really, really well. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I don't think I've done a tag video in a little while. I was tagged by Leah XL, who is also a beauty vlogger here on YouTube. She is absolutely lovely. I only recently discovered her channel after she mentioned me in one of her videos and I absolutely love it. She speaks about everything that I enjoy, like makeup, beauty, everything like that. And she's just so, so easy to watch. You'll watch a video and time will escape you because you just find her so endearing to watch. I just really enjoy listening to her. Even if I'm working, I'm just sat here at my desk typing away and doing things, I will have Leah on in the background because it's just nice to hear somebody talking to you and to keep looking over and think, oh yeah, I like that product too. So does anybody else do that or is that just me? I really like thinking that somebody's sat there talking to me. Life of a loner. <laughs> Anyway, today's video is all about the ultimate beauty tag. So I have the questions on my phone and I'm going to go through them all and answer them. I've got a bit of a funny story as well today. So I took my car in for its MOT to the garage that I usually go to and I also went to get my blood test done for my um, Accutane appointment. So I went to the garage and dropped the car off and they said to me, um, Oh, we think we recognise you. Did you come in before and have your car done? Because I think we know your face. And so yeah, yeah, I mean, like quite a lot. My car comes here often. Anyway, went back to pick it up, and they were like, "Oh my God, we've realised who you are now. You really look like Adele." I get told that quite often. I work as a makeup artist, and when I'm in the studio doing makeup on clients, all of a sudden they'll go, "Do you know what? You really look like somebody." I'll say, "Yeah." Is it Adele? And like, yeah, it's Adele. So all I need to do now is learn how to sing like Adele and I will be absolutely sorted. So they said to me, next time you ring up, tell us it's the Adele lookalike. So I okay, I'll ring you up and I'll go, hello, it's me. <laughs> so I've had a great morning today. Car passed its MOT, I had a great laugh with them, bloods went well, everything's going great. So let's see if filming goes just as well. So I've got the questions on here. I'm going to crack on as I've been talking for a little while now. This is the trouble when you get sort of used to filming. You find that you can't quite shut up and get on with your video. You just talk. <laughs> right, so let's start. When did you get into makeup and why? I have been into makeup for years and years, ever since I was a little girl. I remember running around my kitchen when I was little with music on and I must have been about three, something like that, maybe even younger. And I had a little set from the Disney shop and it had a Tinkerbell nail polish in it. And I remember always painting my nails with this nail polish and then I would peel it off. It's the one that was like, it just used to peel off your nails. It was great. I wish I had some of that now because it was so satisfying to peel off. But anyway, that was when I first started really getting into beauty. And I remember my mum and dad would buy me these little kiddies gift sets at Christmas with makeup and I'd put them on my uncle. There's a video somewhere of my poor uncle having a makeover by me. And he's literally got bright blue eyeshadow on right up to his brow bone. And it was horrendous. He looked absolutely terrifying, but I was having an absolutely amazing time. I was having a ball. I first really got into makeup in my teens and I just used to do bits and pieces of makeup on my friends for shoots and things like that. And I actually went to uni and studied journalism because I also do a lot of writing work. And I kind of went down a more academic route than going into makeup because I didn't know if I could actually make a career out of makeup, although I really enjoyed it. So I trained in journalism, got a job in search marketing, and after a while, I just felt a little bit stifled and like I wasn't being creative enough. And I really craved the makeup side of things again. So my parents, who've got a photography business, said, we need somebody to work with us as a permanent makeup artist do you want to do it? If you do, we'll put you through your training. So of course I said yes, I went and did all the training and then I worked on a counter at Illamasqua as well as working for mum and dad and everything spiralled from there. And soon after that I became self-employed and now makeup and YouTube and beauty writing is my full-time work. You know, just to cut a long story short for you there. <laughs> Next question is your most repurchased product. This is one that's not all too exciting, but one that is an old favourite and one that I've used for years, and it's this. 
It's my MAC Studio Fix foundation and this is in NC15 which is actually a little bit dark for me believe it or not but the one that's the lightest one just makes me look very poorly so I always go for this one and just blend it a little bit further down my neck. I love the formula of it, I love how it photographs, I love how it lasts, it doesn't break my skin out. I just really like this one and I always go back to it no matter what. Next question is the product that you would never repurchase. This is a recent one, it's the one that first came into my mind when I saw the question and it's actually the nail polish that I'm wearing today. Although I absolutely adore the colour, I think it's beautiful, I would never repurchase it because the formula is shocking. You can put this on on like the evening and then get up the next day and by lunchtime it's chipping off in huge pieces. It doesn't even last for a full day. It's actually by Barry M. It's in the colour Socialite. It's absolutely stunning. I love, love, love the colour, but it just doesn't last and it's not easy to apply as well. It's pretty gloopy. It's just a really bad formula, so please, Barry M, just make it a little bit better because I just, oh, I love the colour. I want to keep wearing it, but I don't want to keep painting my nails every single day. <laughs> Next question is, what is your best dupe product? My best dupe product is actually from Barry M and it's the Matte Me Up, what is it, Clastars? Matte Me Up Liquid Lip Paint and I also got the lip liner with it so I got it in a little kit. These are absolute dupes for the Kylie Jenner lip kits and they are amazing. This one is called Pose and it's a dupe for Posey K. The, um, <laughs> the lip liner goes on really really easily, it's beautiful to put on, it's just really creamy and smooth and just gives you that perfect lip line and base. And the lip paint goes on beautifully too. Obviously it dries down to more of a matte finish, but it's not uncomfortably matte and it really does stay put. So I really like this and the colour is beautiful as well. So yeah, I just picked them up on a whim after I saw them and when I tried them I was like, yeah, these are a really, really good jewel. They're a lot more affordable obviously and you can get them in the UK very easily too. Next question is, have you ever bought fake makeup? No, I have never bought fake makeup, but something I was caught out with was eyelashes. So I bought a pair of red cherry lashes from an eBay store, which I've used before and thought was reputable. The lashes came and to me, they didn't look quite right. They seemed a bit, oh, the hairs just didn't look quite right on them. And when I went to use them and took them out of the packet, they were thick with glue on the lash band. And I just knew that wasn't the usual quality of red cherry lashes. So I actually contacted their counterfeit team and sent them pictures and gave them the details and they told me they are absolutely counterfeit and Red Cherry do not sell on eBay so people are not authorised to sell Red Cherry lashes on eBay. So if anybody's buying Red Cherry lashes from eBay there's a good chance that they're fake. I actually did a blog post about this to try and raise a bit of awareness so I'll put that in the description bar. Um, but as for fake makeup, I would never ever ever buy fake makeup. You have no idea what's in that makeup, it could be damaging to your skin, you just don't know what's in the ingredients, it is not worth the risk. Especially for me, I have a responsibility to my clients as a makeup artist to make sure that my products are legit and that they are safe to use. So I would not compromise my client's safety or my reputation as a business to do that, just wouldn't do it. Would never ever buy fake makeup, don't do it. The next question is, what is your current favorite makeup brand? Oh, this is really hard because the majority of things that I use are either MAC, Urban Decay or Makeup Geek. If I had to choose one, I think I would have to go with MAC. But I don't really want to go with MAC because I think that's really cliche, but I really do enjoy using MAC products. I'm going to go for, um, mm, oh I don't know, I might go for NYX actually because I really like their eyebrow pencils, I like their lip, is it called lip butter, butter gloss, something like that, I really like that and they've got a few bits and pieces that I really enjoy, I think their eyeliner is really great as well, it's great for doing your waterline, like tight lining, it's a really nice product for that. Yeah, let's go with NYX. I think they've got a massive choice of products and I just love looking on their counter. So forget the other three that I just mentioned, I'm going with NYX. The next question is, what is one beauty hack that you know and do? 
So the one that comes straight to mind is one that I think I heard from Lydia Elise Millen. If you don't know who she is, she's an amazing vlogger. I will put her link in the description bar below. But she was talking about dry shampoo and she said to give your hair a little bit of a refresh with your dry shampoo, try this little trick. So you take your dry shampoo and spray it over your hair as you normally would, but instead of massaging it in and then going, take your hair dryer and give your hair a quick blast with the hair dryer and then rub it in and style your hair as usual. So yesterday me and my dad had had a fire in the garden and I didn't want to wash my hair again but I could smell the smoke on it so I thought I'm going to try Lydia's trick and see if that works. So I tried it and I also put a little bit of oil on my hair. The one I'm using at the moment is the um, solar oil from System Professional and the smoke smell was gone. It just smelled really nice, floral and fresh again. So that's a really good tip. So thank you, Lydia. That is the hack that I know and use and that I will continue to use. Next question is, do you have any beauty regrets? Yes, I have plenty of beauty regrets. I regret over tanning when I was younger. I regret wearing massive false eyelashes. I used to wear eyelashes every single day at uni but they were really cheap ones and they just looked horrendous and I used to put them on for every single lecture. So you know just casually sitting in my law lecture with these massive lashes like hi. <laughs> it must have looked ridiculous but I used to love them. And what else? Oh, a really big regret actually, my dad found an old photograph of me the other day and I don't know if anybody else used to have these but we had um, a big nightclub in Barnsley that used to be called Regents and then it was called Heaven and Hell and they used to do like an under 18s night for school kids basically so I used to go to this and I used to put the craziest makeup on I didn't used to do my eyebrows back then and my brows are blonde so you couldn't see them I used to put a load of orangey looking foundation on, a really bad bright peachy blush and then my eyes, this is the worst bit, the eyes, I used to just black them completely out. I used to think that smoky eyes were really sexy and like really like sultry and gorgeous so I used to try and do them but all I did was just put black everywhere all over my eyes and my mum and dad used to go mad with me and they used to say one day you'll look back on this photograph and you'll realise how ridiculous this looked and you'll regret ever doing it and I used to think no I won't look really cool like everybody's gonna love my makeup <laughs> and when I look at those pictures now it's just oh god it's horrendous it's absolutely horrendous I don't even know if I dare show it I don't know, I'll have a think about that one. But anyway, it was really bad. So yeah, there are a few regrets. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, what's one product or brand that you'd like to try? I would really like to try Tarte. I've not tried anything from Tarte makeup and I see it all the time and it looks really cool. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Tarte for that one. I'd really like to try something from them. The last question is, what do you use to remove your makeup? So I saw Imogen Hudson, who is Imogenation. If you don't know her as well, go check her out. She's hilarious. I love her to bits. I will put her link in the description box too. Um, I saw her talking about this from Garnier and it's their micellar water, but this one is oil infused. So it's not like the other one that I used to use all the time. This one is infused with oil. Because my skin's a little bit more on the oilier side, or it was before I started Accutane, I was a bit concerned to start using something that was oily on my skin because it tends to make me break out. But when I saw that this one was like a non-greasy formula, I thought I would try it. And I love it. It's gorgeous. It doesn't leave that horrible, thick, greasy residue on your skin. And it smells beautiful. It just, oh, it's gorgeous. It just removes your makeup really easily. So it's like a bi formula and you just sort of shake it to mix it together and then you can use it on a cotton pad and it takes everything off. It doesn't irritate my skin or my eyes. It's really gentle, but really effective. And I love the smell. I just love using this. It is so nice. And when I bought this last week, it was on offer at Superdrug for half price. 
so I bought two of them, one for me and one for my kit. Definitely go and try it out and see what you think. So that brings me to the end of the ultimate beauty tag. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much Leah for tagging me. I am so glad that we have found each other on YouTube because I love your videos and I love your channel and I like talking to you on Twitter as well. If you did enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe if you are new. There are a few other girls who are also doing the video so I will tag them below so you can watch their videos too. Thanks again for watching and I will hope to see you all soon. Bye!